What is up boys? It is Sunday afternoon now. Uh, I'm gonna go climbing again, so fourth day in a row. This is the fit. I made a, out of a blanket, I made a t-shirt. And then I'm just wearing some black shorts. I'm gonna wear some slides. Um, yeah, that's, uh, I'm gonna go climbing, come back quick. I need to go pick up my bag, that's the real reason I'm gonna go climbing today. So it's gonna be quick, I'm pretty sore to be honest. Probably need to bring tape up too. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to take y'all with me. We have to go on a mission to save Mr. Fluffy Buns. Actually, isn't even the Fluffy Buns? Because technically he's like furry. So, Mr. Fluffy Buns. Uh, I'm just going to wrap up my, my pinky. This one kind of got a small little blister yesterday. Uh, which I didn't think I was going too hard, but I guess I was. Yesterday was bad though. My elbow, I really gotta work on warming up and not just jumping in to like uh, to runs that are pushing me or to climbs that are pushing me. So maybe I should go lift. I have to hit like a quick lift initially. Get a quick pump. Nice and tight. Alright, peace. Yo, what's up? I'm hoping. Um, we are on the mission to save Mr. Furry Buns. Uh, I honestly, I, I think, I don't know how I, how I left him. It's kind of crazy. It was like closing time, so like at least nobody stole him. And so that I was, I was assured that it was there. Uh, but other than that, like, kind of sucks that I lost him. <laughs> uh, I'm just messing with my friend right now. Uh, he goes, so that's what the dean is, that's the text. He, go, he goes, because we're, we're going to go to a potluck tonight. And he said, do I pretend I bring baked cookies? And I said, hi, yeah, I'm gonna just bring baked cookies too, just to fuck with them. Because, like, why why would I just, why would I ever bring the same thing as someone else? And then he goes, I, I'll bring brownies then. So we, and then before he even said we can get some variety, I said, I'd say. <laughs> and he goes, I'd say so we can get some variety. And he goes, yo, I'm mid game tweak laughing right now. <laughs> he's, he's reffing, he's a ref. Yeah, yeah, after that, I said, I, so I just said, oh, I'm messing with you. I feel like I'm one of those guys where if I type ha ha ha, I'm actually laughing. Like, if I'm typing lol, I'm probably not laughing for real, like out loud. But if I'm typing ha ha ha, I'm definitely at least chuckling out loud. Oh, fuck. Dude, if I didn't bring my headphones. Actually, no, I actually don't like Loki doing with headphones out because I feel like it's a danger. Because if I fall weird, like, it could just, like, I don't know. I don't trust it. And, like, most of the time they have pretty good music, and you seem friendlier if you don't have headphones in. So you can talk to more people, I think. It's kind of hard. I feel like you're Loki a dickhead if you have uh, both headphones in and you're trying to talk to somebody. You're like, and you're like, 
That's what she, I guess you can have the, uh, the heater through or whatever. But, I don't know. I would, it's courtesy, it's courtesy, I guess. Oh, I gotta, I gotta change modes. Oh, wow, we're not going fast, never mind. Going like 30. We're on 30? Fine. <laughs> now we're going 25. Now we're slowing down. In the smooth 20 on the highway? Oh, no, nah, we're in the teens right now. Bro, let me in, bro. Take head. It's called the, it's called the, it's called the zipper, bro. We each go one at a time. You don't try to come two at a time. Alright, we're gonna try not to make a move here, though. Alright, we're, we just bumped up to 40. Moves are made, moves are made. At these pillars and they said they used to have games where they would make slaves try to climb all the way up and dude it was probably like at least 60 feet tall and that's probably just the remaining we really don't know how we think it, they think it could have been taller too and, and that's just crazy no safety net bro. the climb down must have been insane like imagine you have to die to something like how the fuck are you coming back down I guess you're gonna have to like that would be crazy. I don't know. I guess if you want to live, you'd have to figure it out. But they said, yeah, hella people died. So. Yeah, 6 16. Okay. Dude, I'm going to Pomona. <laughs> uh, our tour guide, we went to these things that look like, she called them mushroom pillars. So you think of mushrooms. If I'm being honest, they, maybe you have to censor this, but they look like something else that looks like mushrooms. I won't say the word, but it looked like something else. What else looks like mushrooms? Uh, it might look like might run with toad. So uh, <laughs> uh, I took one one picture of it as my toad. So yeah, my dad helped me take that actually. This is pretty. This is a pretty cool bridge. This is just chilling. Oh, he's got his drone. They're filming a drone video. Is this a model? Is this a Tesla? Oh, let me get in. Let me get into this Tesla model shit, bro. Oh, let me get in here. Let me get in here. Once again, I have filmed none of the climbs, and I, but I'm done climbing now. Today was a little bit better. I don't know, I think I just have like, I can't overexert myself too quick. My arms are already hurting, like my tendon arms. I don't know, maybe this gotta get stronger. I gotta give me a rest maybe. Um, but, as you guys all probably have been wondering, we have saved Mr. Furry Buns. There he is. Oh. That's good. Oh. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just going. You gotta go to the go. To the flow, to the flow. If you want to know how to know. Why am I in fucking Alameda? My tea's gone cold, I'm wondering why I got out of bed at all The morning rain clouds up my window And I can't see at all And even if I could, it would all be great But your picture on my wall 
It reminds me that it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Drank too much last night, got bills to pay. My head just feels in pain. I miss the bus and there'll be hell today. I'm late for work again. And even if I'm there, they'll all imply that I might not last the day. And then you call me and it's not so bad. It's not so bad now. Want to thank you for giving me the best day of my life. Oh, just to be with you is having the best day of my life. Push the door, I'm home at last. And I'm soaking through and through Then you handed me a towel And all I see is you And even if my house falls down now I wouldn't have a clue Because you're near me And I want to thank you For giving me the best day of my life oh just to be with you is having the best day of my life uh, let's do our birds the secret spies for the government me personally, I would say going into this, I'm probably like 80, 20. Birds are not, put the big chair. Birds are not secret spies for the government, but I'm definitely open to maybe somehow uh, thinking about it in a new perspective where they are, they are secret agents. There we go, I finally got the sneeze, guys. Let's go. So, are birds agents of the government? I don't think birds are agents of the government because... I don't know, I feel like, what, they, if they're actually robots to that point, what are they eating and what are they pooping out? Like, how, how are they, I don't think the government has the ability to replicate the digestive system like that. And so... I would say honestly, I don't know. Like, I guess let me think about why they would be a part. I don't even need to read something. I do feel like they are synchronized, but I feel like there's not just birds in life that are synchronized like that. So maybe somehow humanity has been able to replicate that type of stuff. But I'm not that much of a conspiracy theorist. Or like, I think I think I don't know. I think that thing, that type of things are possible. Even though I guess we were able to clone Dolly, the the sheep. Which, which, but I, and I think, honestly, did you, I don't know if you guys have ever heard about uh, human cloning, but like, I guess it's a sign that nobody's allowed to human clone, but I wonder if anyone in, ever in history has been humanly cloned. Like, we just don't know about it. Or even just uh, their brain or something like, I don't know. I guess that would be the only important, if you could clone anything, I guess, what, 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 what would you clone? I think I would clone someone's brain. If I could clone two things. Their head and brain. No, I guess you'd have their brain, but you'd have no way to talk to it. So you'd really need to clone the whole body. At least, unless somehow clone some, some sort of deformed version of, it, of, of the person. But that, I'm talking about that, that's also so messed up. I think maybe you could clone somebody that doesn't look like them, but then thinks like them. And that'd be a little bit more okay. But it's still kind of messed up to use someone else's brain. We're all in a. You can think, I guess, three dimensional, but we, let's let's say four dimensional. So because I, I so I won't even know how it looks like, but some sort of four dimensional space, 
and we are all individuals on that spectrum because no one individual is, is the same right so if no one individual is the same and we're all individuals in this four dimensional space and we're all constantly changing so that means somebody's mentality could switch out of its spot and to someone else to replace it and i think that's been i feel like i guess we're like trees trees of probability of what personality next and then what if we think about it as that eventually people's life soul like is connected to their prob probability of going to certain emotions and then if you're in certain same typical field graphs of emotions you're just attracted to each other on a on a emotional connection that doesn't mean a physical connection of course so i think that's why it's tough because you need a you're looking for two four-dimensional spaces overlapping and that's your type of person that you'd want to get married to that that's your true marriage i guess that i feel like you wouldn't get divorced to and i think what's tough is that when you get as you get older you your personality changes and your look changes which means your your demographic of her preference is changing so you have to hope that her two semicircles move along with your two semicircles or maybe they just grew an affection for you specifically, which I don't know, dude, because our one of our best friends, they just had a divorce and they've been married for like 25 years together. And I feel like that's insane. Like, I feel like once after 25 years, I don't know, I would know that I love this girl, but I guess not. I guess some, I don't know somehow they moved apart. 